David Brabham is regarded as one of today's finest sports car races. His experience and achievements are an extensive list. His ability is championed by many other drivers. This year, he won the 24 Hours of Le Mans and became the American Le Mans Series P1 champion with the Patron Highcroft team. But David's also known for his charitable work and has recently been named as an ambassador for Malaria No More UK. Well, to be honest, it's, it's quite an honour, really. I mean, it's um, not only just an important cause, um, it's insane to think that we still have this problem today. It really is when you think about it. But, um, you know, when you look at all the, the people associated with this charity, I mean, it's, um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a very high level, high profile, because it's, it's quite important to uh, try and stamp out malaria around the world. I don't want to get involved in something where I don't really get involved, you know what I mean? It might have an association, but I'd, I'd really like to um, understand more about it and see what I can do to help. So obviously with our charity go-kart race, that's the first step, you know, Malaria No More are now the, the charity uh, for, for our uh, race up there at the Autosport show in January. So the money raised for that will go to Malaria No More UK. The celebrity karting event is an initiative that the former Formula One driver set up with a friend of his, Bill Williams. The sole aim is to raise money for charity, and the next event in January is set to be the biggest yet. It's become far more than was ever envisaged, and so far, far more successful than they could have hoped for. Well, the karting event is, uh, you know, started off with a very small idea with a bit of fun, and it's kind of just grown and grown and grown. The last two years, we've raised 92,000 pounds, and uh, it's just a, just a very small group of us. Uh, we don't make any money out of it, I mean, it's just free time, and this thing has just kind of grown and grown and grown to the point now that uh, next year we're moving to the live arena. Uh, we've got grandstands, we've, it's just going to up the level massively, and I think it's perfect timing for Malaria No More to be a part of that as well. Like so many sports stars, David's using his celebrity and status to help a cause that he feels passionate about. And the race team he's been driving for have already been backing the charity. Well, I mean, the one thing that we've learned is uh, just a simple mosquito net is going to save lives. Um, you know, here with Highcroft Racing, we have miles to end malaria. So every mile we do, $10 has actually been put towards malaria no more here in the, in the US. Uh, I think they're up to seventy, eighty thousand dollars already. Now that's a lot of lives saved when you know it's like ten dollars for a mosquito net. That's going to save a lot of people's lives in the, in those uh, infected areas. Now that the racing season is over, the focus is on the up and coming event, and the lineup of celebrities that have pledged their support is already a large one. Well, it's one of those um, problems that really need a lot of awareness. Because, I mean, you know, when you're, when you're here in the States or in the UK, you don't really think about it. If it's not in your awareness, you don't really know. So it needs a high-profile presence to say, hey, you know what, there's a massive problem in these areas, and uh, it, needs, it needs action, and that's what we need to do. And, of course, you know, like all things, it takes money. So, you know, with the charity go-kart race, um, you know, we're going to raise money there. We're doing it here with Miles to End Malaria. Uh, there's many other people in different sectors raising money for it and uh, you know there's an ambitious plan to get it get it stopped very soon and if we have a lot of people thinking about it and acting on it we can make that happen we really can it may be for fun but when the likes of Alan McNish, Marino Franchitti, Anthony Davidson and Paul DiResta are competing against each other it's also going to be highly entertaining